Hi, my name is Ryan Hassman. I'm the Conservative Party candidate in Edmonton Strathcona. I'm running for Parliament because I know how important good government is to our quality of life, to our safe communities, and to a strong economy. And as a new dad, I know that the future is even more important to me now than ever before. Edmonton Strathcona deserves an MP who shares their mainstream values, the values of the taxpayers, small business people, students, and seniors. I represent those values and I'll give them a voice in Ottawa. The choice here is not only for who will be the local representative, but which party and which leader can best manage our economy and provide stable government in Ottawa. It's a stark choice between a stable, conservative majority government led by the Prime Minister who has taken us through this global recession, or a risky, unstable opposition coalition which would be led by Michael Ignatieff and supported by the NDP and the Bloc Québécois. It's important to give Edmonton Strathcona a voice in Ottawa that's within a stable, conservative majority government. And I ask voters to help me protecting your jobs and our economy by voting Conservative on May 2nd. My name is Matthew Sinclair. I'm a 20-year-old political science student at Grant McEwen University. I'm running for the Liberal Party of Canada for Edmonton Strathcona because I believe in the political process. I believe in the parliamentary democracy Canada has in its constitution. And I believe that anyone across the spectrum, young or old, can make a difference. I care about the voters in my riding, about uh, issues such as education and retirement and pensions and health care. And I want to make sure that people know in this election they will always have a voice and always have a choice to vote for someone who, bring, who wants to bring energy and passion back to the riding and back to Alberta and to represent it with that energy and passion in Parliament. I'm Linda Duncan. I am the incumbent uh, member of Parliament in Edmonton Strathcona. I'm running for re-election. Um, I'm told that I've done a very great job and I work very hard. When I ran for office, I said that I'm not going to be just another member of Parliament that you elect in Alberta and you send to Ottawa. I'm actually going to bring the federal government to Alberta. I've worked uh, long and hard in my profession for 40 years trying to provide stronger environmental laws and enforcement, not just in, in Alberta but across Canada and around the world. And um, I thought I'd give a try at the federal government. I was concerned about a Harper majority and so I thought I'd give an attempt at having another voice in here. Um, everybody in Alberta knows that there's a lot of diversity of opinion in Alberta. And um, I think now I'm providing that opportunity of, of a slightly different opinion. The place isn't now painted entirely blue. We now have an orange life raft. My name is Andrew Fair, and I'm running for the Green Party in Edmonton, Strathcona. I'm just finishing my third year of a degree in environmental economics and policy here at the University of Alberta. And I'm running for the Green Party because I'm frustrated with the attack style uh, politics that we see today and the lack of foresight that politicians hold. Um, and I, and I, I represent a, a, a large demographic of, of Edmonton, Strathcona, and of Canada. A, a recent poll showed that uh, if, if only Canadians aged 18 to 24 voted, that 22% of them would vote for the Green Party. And that's very telling to me that, uh, that young people are dissatisfied with, with their government and they want change. So I'm bringing my concerns and our concerns to, to where the power is and running for the Green Party, the party that I feel best represents uh, uh, the interests of Canadians. Um, and I recognize that I don't have a strong chance of winning this election, but I'm running to raise the profile of issues uh, such as proportional representation, making sure every vote counts, um, combating climate change by transitioning to renewable energy uh, society, and uh, in ensuring federal funding for uh, future LRT expansions in Edmonton.